Horner for Norwich Boxing, here with Craig Poxton, in the lead up to English title fight. Um, obviously, unfortunately, last time out, your opponent pulled out. Can you let us know a bit more on, on that? Or? I don't know too much about it. He got rushed to hospital the night before or the morning of the fight and couldn't make it. And it, it, it was what it was, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, you sort of had an exhibition on the night with Ryan Walsh, who obviously sparred many rounds, but yeah. it's a bit different. You're in front of a crowd. Uh, it means a little bit more, doesn't it? You've got people watching. Well, it is, isn't it? it? It was what it was, you know. It's not a fight. It's, it's a technical, just to show, really. We were both very respectful of each other and just show technical boxing rather than try to do anything too fantastic. Do you know what I mean? You've obviously sparred rounds with Liam Walsh, uh, now Ryan Walsh, both British champions. You're now looking at an English title fight. Um, how much will that mean to you winning the English title, let alone being able to push on to go on for British or even more? Well, yeah, uh, last time we had one of these, you asked him a similar sort of thing about the southern area, and I said then, 12 months ago, it's progression, you know, southern area, English, then a British, God willing, and European, and so on and so on. And it's, it's nice it's going that way, you know. I didn't get the decision in southern area, but that's gone now, so on to the next. That, that says something about that fight, you know what I mean? You're, um, you're managed by Graham Everett. Um, many see him as sort of an underrated trainer and uh, manager, really, the, the lads that he manages. Um, the progression that he's putting you through is superb. Um, going into this fight, I've asked you this before, but going into this English title fight, what, what are you expecting your opponent to come and bring and what are you going to push on to him? But I know he's strong. I know he's got a lot of knockouts, the KO kid and everything like that. I know he's... He's heavy-handed and he can box, you know, I think he boxed for England as an amateur and ABAs and stuff, so he's a talented kid, but I never underestimate, underestimate anybody, you know, yeah. so I just come in gym and do what I do and get fit and let him do his training. So is fitness a key point to your, your style of boxing? Do you feel you'll, you'll have a better fitness level to what he will and you'll be able to pressurise him more or are you not letting anything go? Look, like I said, I let Matt and my team concentrate on him. I just come in gym, get up, do what I'm told. Uh, but I always try and put 100% into every training session, every run, every fight, and, and be at my fittest, you know? So. Um, we've talked about this many times, and it's something that will always get brought up probably for the rest of your life. Your fight with George Jupp, very close. Many see you as the winner. Um, you've both come out of that fight going in different directions. He's now obviously <coughs> going on fighting Mitchell Smith for a European title. You're going on to fight for the English title. Many would see the English title as a better route. Um, do you feel that your performance in that fight is the one that sort of granted you this fight? Or? Yeah, possibly, you know, um, as well as having a good team, obviously. You were saying about Graham, he's done a great job, you know. Yeah. So. I, f I fought box well in the fight. Yeah, I wasted a lot of shots, but that's done now. Do you know what I mean? It's it's in the past and moving forward all the time. So that is the plan. Looking at this English title fight and then just seeing where where that sort of yeah. takes you from there. The yeah. same as I'm guessing you took your southern area title fight. That's it. Brilliant. Well, um, thanks for your time and uh, catch up with you again and continue to follow the journey now up until February. Lovely. Um, is there any news on tickets for people or? As soon as I know, it'll be on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, anything else. But um, I think we're looking at the 28th of February at the Doncaster Dome. Back home. Well, yeah, it's well, my it's neck of woods, yeah. yeah. Not so, far away, so. Brilliant. Well, there's Craig Poxton. If you want to follow Norwich Boxing on Twitter, Facebook, f subscribe to our YouTube channel, that would be brilliant. Thanks very much.